which is racing way, way, way right to the top with her new song and with her new film. And no wonders that because at the moment, look at her. She looks hot, doesn't she? I'm racing. <laughs> but tell me, do, I mean, they say everything is a race. And so is your career and you know, I mean, it's, it's a competition. So then would you agree when I say that you are competitive with a lot of people and who are your competition? I actually don't believe that life is a race. Uh, I'm, I'm quite the opposite. I think that uh, life is a journey and uh, there's no need to hurry through it and there's no need to race through it. I think it's, it's more about enjoying every day as it comes and um, enjoying the experience and uh, yeah, there's no need for competition and races because I think sometimes it just kind of makes things ugly. Why do actresses all sound the same? Of course you have somebody else. We're trained. <laughs> We're trained well. <laughs> but I'm sure you have this somebody whom you really take as good comp. It can be good competition. I'm not saying it has to be like a... I no. don't. I don't. I actually don't. I think um, I have a lot of friends, like especially actresses uh, in Bollywood. And um, you know, it's because we're able to kind of be secure and um, uh, kind of confident in our work. And I feel that there's a space for everyone. And uh, there's so many movies, like Bollywood makes the most amount of movies a year in the world. And there's so many movies for everyone and there's always a space for you. So I don't think, I think you ruin the journey by, you know, kind of like making yourself, yeah, but competing and you just, you know, get yourself frustrated on stuff. So I think it's, it's good to kind of like take it easy. Well, first of all, I think you look really hot in the race songs and promos. Wow, it feels good to be back here, by the way, at Zoom. <laughs> it really does. I used to come to this office a I lot. Are you used to the stairs? I do, I know. I'm used to this. I'm used to the canteen over there and um, little cabins and stuff. I used to be here. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So, so I, mean, I mean, tell me, I mean, you really worked hard, first of all. I did, I did. Great. Thank you. We heard you really worked out and then stuff. And I, I, I was starving. <laughs> I was starving throughout this entire shoot of race, actually. I think, luckily, like, I had to kind of like get that flat stomach and I knew that I would be showing my stomach. Um, and I had a lot of action to do as well in the... Um, uh, in the movie, my character Omisha is like this action-packed character and stuff. So uh, yeah, it was all about kind of training. It was about kind of looking my best. Race is a glamorous movie at the end of the day. So uh, I had to compete with people like John Deepika. <laughs> you know, like I should not compete with them. I had to kind of like, you know, um, level up with them. You know, so yeah. But it was a it was a good good experience. Yeah, I know what you're going to say, but I'm still going to go ahead and ask you. I mean, was was there, I mean, we always think when there are two beautiful actresses like Deepika and you, especially. Major cat fights. No? Major cat fights. I didn't even go there. Fine, this is amazing. <laughs> so, who won it? <laughs> so, who won it? Major, major cat fights. I mean, like, seriously, between Anilji and Amisha. You had to see it. You had to see it. it was, Anilji and Amisha. Yeah. Oh my God, it's insane. I've never seen something like this before. Yeah. Okay. I'm joking. Um, I think, you know, uh, the entire cast of Race 2, very, very confident people. Everyone is talented, everyone's focused, everyone's disciplined. John has the body, Seth is looking classy, the Pika is looking hot. You know, I think like um, everyone kind of understands their space and the best thing about it is we've all been given extremely different characters. So if I'm like the grungier, kind of like, you know, edgier one, Deepika's the classy, sophisticated, you know, like hot one, um, Amisha's the bubbly one, you know what I mean? So it's like, you, can, you cannot feel kind of like insecure because no one's really stepping into your space. So again, when there's uh, Deepika Padukone and everybody's obviously speculating as to, so was, was there a fear of ever, like for example, if there's Deepika and your role might be a little shorter than that or maybe a little more, uh, less important, than, was there a fear ever like that? Never. I mean, like, I I feel it, it would be reasonable maybe even for my producers or my directors to kind of showcase a bigger actress, you know. Um, and I would expect the same if I was at the Pika's level. And um, for me, it was just about being part of Race 2. It was just about being part of this brand. I mean, like, I remember watching Race 1. I remember performing to Race 1 song, you know. And um, it was like this, this, this major kind of, like, dream come true that happened. So I, I was just kind of happy to be there. So I'm sure you're getting used to all the male attention that you're getting from me. Everybody's looking at no me. No one seems bothered that I'm here, actually. What is, what is up with them? 
I'm really disappointed with you guys in here on Zoom. Everyone's on their phones, everyone's on the computers. Okay, there's one one person that can speak. Thank you. Thank you. No, I think everybody's trying to be nice and trying to make a corporate and nice, sober yeah, reaction exactly. to your presence here. Yeah? I get it. You guys are trying to look busy, that's why, you know? And maybe your bosses are watching or something. I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you know, Jacqueline, I, I think uh, the song is super sexy and your moves, I think, especially, I don't know, I do it really bad, but what is this step supposed to be? Can you can you teach us? Can this is, the audience? This is luck. Yeah, this is like, you know. <laughs> How do you do this that? This is addiction. It's, it's, um, actually, I was very confused in the beginning too because I was like, I asked Ahmed, he's the, he was the choreographer, and I was like, um, when he was showing me the choreography, and he was like, so let, let, let the gay, and I'm like, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I doing that? Why am I wiping my lips, you know? And he was like, hello, you know, like when you're like addicted to something, and when you're like drooling, and when you're like, you know, you, you want more, you you kind of like, you don't care about, <laughs> you know, your, your, your saliva all over your face, and it, I guess it's wiping off drool, but you know. So I had to try and make it look non-drooly, and um, yeah, presentable on TV. So who does Jacqueline drool over? Um, I drool over, um... Not that long, come on, it up. I'm like, who do I drool over? Who do I drool over anyone? <laughs> you have all people drooling over you. <laughs> Jamie Oliver. <laughs> okay. He's a chef. Well, by the way, you do this step very well and supposedly you went, um, to Big Boss yeah. and, and you taught Salman doing that. So how was that? It was an amazing experience. I think um, I was super nervous actually on that show. Um, but to have kind of Salman do the let the gay step, I was like, oh my god, he did my step. <laughs> and I love how Anil did it as well because he ended up like punching himself and he made it like a joke. So it was lots of fun. And you know, everybody takes like this Salman as this, you know, this this really, really big actor god. now because God. Exactly. Yeah, he's a god. <laughs> what, what are your opinions? I mean, you know, what do you think of this guy? I mean, you've, you, now you know him a little personally as well. You've met him and stuff. Um, I think he honestly is a very, very good human being. And um, I've, you know, known Salman since I've pretty much been here. And uh, he really takes care of his friends. He takes care of people who come to him. Um, uh, with with help, and he, I think it's um, it's really nice that someone can, like him and his stature uh, can go out of their way, way to help people, and that's what he does. And it just goes, to sh it shows a lot about his personality. Fair enough, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, along with that, I think uh, she has a lot of things to do here, so I'll let you go. I do. I'm a busy woman. I have to like do a lot of promotions for race. Okay, so the three sexiest steps that you have from race, you'll have to do it right now and show it to audience. And show how easy it is to do. I mean, it looks very difficult on screen. So. One is lat, okay. one is fencing, <laughs> and the third one is party on my mind, 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 mind. So there you are. If you can do it like how Jacqueline does, I'm sure you'd not, you don't have to worry about anything, right? I mean, seriously, it, it's something to work on. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, thank you. Too far in life. <laughs> On that note, thank you so much, thank Jacqueline. You there you are, Jacqueline Fernandez, Rudran Chatraju with Cameron Amul, Zoom.